Have you ever wondered why everyone starts buying the same type of cars? Or why certain fashion trends go viral so quickly? And how we all end up using the same hashtags on social media? These are all examples of behaviors that spread through society because humans are constantly influenced by their social surroundings. Family, friends, colleagues. To better understand this process, scientists decided to model humans as networks. Let's say that every human is represented by a glass. Some of those humans are friends that we represent by a line. If this person begins to behave in a certain way, all its friends will be influenced and may begin to act the same, and influence their friends, and other friends, and so on. Scientists use two main approaches to model how a person's behavior influences their friends. In scientific terms, we say someone is infected if they adopt the behavior of someone else, even though we are not talking here necessarily about diseases. The first approach is called the simple contagion. If this person is infected, there is a certain probability that they will influence their friend. Let's call him John. Let's say, if the dice is a 3, oh bingo, John gets infected. It works like a disease. If I have COVID and have a face-to-face -face contact with someone, that person might get a disease with a certain probability. The second approach is called complex contagion. In this case, John becomes infected if he has a certain number of infected friends. Let's say he has two infected friends, but John needs at least three of them. Nothing happens. But if this person gets infected, then John does too. Sorry, John. This type of contagion is pretty straightforward. People get infected one by one smoothly. But this one is more intense. Sometimes, many people get infected suddenly, and other times, no one does. Those phenomena are super important to be studied, to prevent the propagation of harmful behaviors, and to better understand the other ones. Thank you for listening until the end. Cheers! Cheers.